My dear Scarley, how very nice to see you. All right, how the hell did you do it? The fire escaped and careful timing. I've been waiting all day for you. Of course you have, Scarley. That's the very reason your awesome efficiency breaks down. You never observe the obvious. Now, would you ask this gentleman to fetch my iced water, please? You've got it on back to front. You've never been in hospital before. You've got a lot to learn. All right. Only this time go easy. I won't say anything if you can find it to this room, but only to this room. I assure you I shall limit my consumption to the occasional chotopec. What's the matter with that, bud? It's none of your business. You drink? It's up with orders. And what do the wizards of the knife have in store for you? They're going to give me an exploratory operation. Fun. How do you know? Tomorrow they're going to make it a triumvirate. Jesus. I have cancer. Got it bad? I shall put it this way, I have no intention of succumbing to cirrhosis. I have, though, what might be termed the good kind, if there is such a thing. I've been told that it's spreading slowly from organ to organ. These are from two abortive attempts at trying to find my primary tumour. Should the proof third time lucky when the act may open tomorrow, they say there is a slim chance they might be able to do something with radiation. The truth be known, it all boils down to the simple fact that I'm going to die. So, you're a salesman, eh? Part-time. I'm semi-retired. What do you sell? Well, it makes no difference, really. Everything. Speedboats. Whatever comes along. Well, if I... Uh... There we are. Good nurse. Let's keep the cotton wool up there. How big's the scar going to be? From stem to stern, Mr. Flood. Stem to stern. You'll be all right, Mr. Flood. Where the hell are you going to find my primary tumour? When you do the post-mortem? Something's... Something's bothering me. Yeah? Nobody came to see you tonight. Why was that? Because nobody came to see me. No family? Did the nurse give you a red pill? Yeah. Then why the hell aren't you asleep? Can I have a drink? Frightened, eh? <sighs> Take a pill now. What the hell really is going to happen tomorrow? I'm not going to lie to you. It's all right. They're going to carve you up like a joint of beef, and when you wake up, you're going to wish to God you were dead. How bad is that, is it? Like nothing you've ever felt. Well, that's honest, all right. Well, you asked me, and I told you. I think I'd better get some sleep.
Post terminal system, 708 East. Mr. Flood? Are you awake, Mr. Flood? Oh, oh I believe. It's what they used to sterilize. Oh. Are you in pain? If you are, press the call button. Remove these ridiculous needles from my arm, god damn it. It'd be all right if you were running scots in one of them and water in the other. 20 years nursing. You get first prize for regaining consciousness. <clears throat> Your body's no good, I imagine. But you weigh ten and a half, eleven. I'm too young for you, anyhow. Oh! Morphine? Very serious illness. Uh, serious, it's serious. What does serious mean to you? Oh, I'm sorry. What the hell got into you two? <laughs> we know about it already. The doctor told us yesterday. Sod that. All I want to know is who the hell they think they're fooling around with. I'm telling a man who's feeling fine, he's got the flu. <laughs> Bloody mad. Computer must have messed things up, that's all. They don't double check these things before they go shooting off their mouths. You got any cigars? Could you question us? Remember that documentary we saw? Hmm. TV, yeah. Uh, same thing. You feel pretty good, don't you? Stomach sore, that's all. Won't take them long to clear this thing up. A couple of hours a day, at most. Have you rest now? Leave, leave my cigars on the table.
How are things? Hmm? Do you want anything? What do you offer for acute terminal depression? Brompton's cocktail? No, thanks. I'm not gonna leave this pith strewn life when my soul mortgaged to morphine. I'm going out observing. Morning. Hey, there's egg. Any chance of seconds? None. You're looking better. Fit as a fiddle. Can't get up. Yes, if you like. You can sit in the chair for 20 minutes. Not so fast. Just 20 minutes. You okay in there? A little more dirt. Hey, did you hear about me? What? How they got me mixed up with someone else? Yesterday. They told me I'm supposed to have some sort of serious illness. Me? <laughs> what do you think of that? You're wasting valuable time. How come? They told you that yesterday. So? Now it's today. You know, I've been thinking about you. You're not angry with me. You're angry with everything. I don't blame you, though. If I was as ill as you, I would be too. Take it easy. Getting this sense back takes time, doesn't it? What's the matter, Superman? Not completely healed yet? <laughs> oh, you cocky shitbag. Swearing? Did I hear swearing? Brought up in the gutter. I run a clean ward. Do you understand that, Mr. Uh... Flood. Flood? Yes, that's right. Swearing doesn't usually go unpunished while I'm in charge. Deny his bedpan privileges. Do you want to have your injection tonight? What happened to the other nurse? She's gone off duty. Mr. Flood, your wife's outside and she's early. I can let her in now, or I can make her wait. I'm sorry. Right. Good. Cow. Expected. Have you seen a doctor today? Have we? Remember this? Where'd you find that? Kept it in the linen cupboard. Dear, oh dear. Call the nurse. Do you want a jab? Why does it hurt so much? I don't know. It's just the way these things happen sometimes. Roll over on your side, please.
sorry, my dear. Haven't been paying much attention. It really does hurt. If you say so. Is he asleep? I think so. I couldn't help overhearing. You must have a wonderful collection there. Yes. My wife's dead, do you know? Oh, I'm sorry. For many years now, I've lived alone. Has it been very hard? Sometimes in the middle of the night, you know? Yes, yes, I certainly do. Can't sleep. I think the night's never going to end. And Bernie's been on long trips. Loneliness. It's just so terrible. Mm. Even sleeping pills are no use. I know. You must have some wonderful memories there. Yes, yes. Could, would you show me them? Oh. Well, I'd love to. I'll bring that in. That's it. It's a bit like Craig Oh, no. Drinks. Mm. Thanks. Orange. Tomato juice, extra large. We did not tomato juice. Nonsense, I love it. We're on a walking holiday in yeah. Wales. Just a minute. I think I hear your husband still. I didn't hear anything. Look, here we are, coming back from a six-mile hike. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Mm. Uh, can I... Does he want anything? Well, he's asleep. I could still leave him something. Oh, well, orange, I suppose. Thank you. Damn! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. My hand must have slipped. Oh, terrible stuff. You've ruined it. You've ruined it completely. That's a all with a whole lot of you. You don't care about anything for yourself. No, nothing could be more accurate, Mrs. Flood. Yes, this woman's hysterical. Flood. they do to you? X-ray the gut. They make you drink barium with hemlock. I asked them. And? Not too good. It never is. <laughs> what am I going to do? Complain. Moan like the rest of us. How long have you got? I didn't say. But my guess is six weeks. Maybe seven. Give me six. <laughs> <laughs> 